please take your seats. As a courtesy, please silence or turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices and remove all DOD and visitor badges. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Secretary of the Army Award Ceremony, including the 62nd Annual Pace Award, the William H. Kushnick Award, the John W. Macy Jr. Award, and James Nick Hogue Award. Our host for today's ceremony is the Honorable Secretary of the Army, Christine E. Warmoth. Please stand for the singing of the National Anthem by Staff Sergeant Jocelyn Pride from the United States Army Band Pershing Zone and remain standing for the invocation delivered by Chaplain Major General William Green, Jr. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were clear the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Good morning. Please bow with me as I ask blessings for this special occasion. Almighty God, we give thanks to you for another wonderful day in the life of our Army and the extraordinary people who serve our great nation. Heavenly Father, today we pause to honor and offer thanksgiving for the many diverse and exceptional gifts, talents, and abilities you have so graciously bestowed upon each awardee gathered in this hallowed place this morning. As we pause to recognize their professional excellence, devotion to duty and achievements, we pray that these same qualities saturate our Army as we do our part to strengthen the profession and the entire Army enterprise. Bless each awardee and continue to empower and enrich their lives and the lives of all soldiers, families, and DA civilians who tirelessly work to preserve and protect the land we love. And continue to stand beside us, O oh Lord, and guide us in all of our endeavors. In your holy name we pray, this will defend, amen. amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Warmoth. Good morning, everybody. Wow, we have a full house. <laughs> this is great. It's great to see so many people here. Um, thank you all for coming and joining me to recognize these distinguished members of our Army, both civilian and military, for their outstanding service. The achievements of the awardees here today are unique, and they also showcase the impressive breadth of different ways you can serve in the United States Army. All of these awardees have made a significant positive impact on our Army, whether by implementing new policies, changing our systems and processes, 
or exhibiting on a much larger stage the Army's core values. And all of them have shown through their dedicated service the difference just one person can make. And sometimes in a place like the Pentagon or outside in our big footprint, um, it, you know, you can get focused on how big we are, but, but uh, an individual can really make a significant difference. So uh, I'm excited to be here. And with that, why don't we get started and recognize uh, each of these terrific people. First, we'll start with the PACE Award, which recognizes outstanding individual achievements and contributions from our Department of the Army headquarters. The PACE Award focuses on individuals who have either saved the Army money or made a significant technological or military contribution. So, Major Arthur Middlebrooks, who I've heard from a secret source, doesn't know how to walk and is basically just constantly running through the halls <laughs> whenever you see him, is our military PACE Award recipient. And Arthur produced the military analysis that underpinned one of the most important decisions that me and General George have made. And that is the decision to cancel the FARA helicopter and use the funding from that program to rebalance our overall aviation portfolio. His work directly supported one of my six objectives uh, as secretary, which is keeping the Army on a sustainable strategic path towards transformation. So thank you, Arthur. I'd also like to recognize Ms. Tabitha Mueller, our civilian PACE recipient. She significantly increased the visibility and accountability of the dollars that we spend across the Army, and we spend a lot of them, about $186 billion every year. Now, no one likes the word audit, but thanks to Tabitha, we are closer to being able to complete an Army-wide audit. And that's a really important thing that we have to do because it will demonstrate to American taxpayers that we are good financial stewards of the money that they entrust in us. And also because of Ms. Mueller's work, we can have confidence that we're spending money in ways that directly contribute to our priorities and to our country's defense. So thank you to both of you for your terrific accomplishments. Today, we're also recognizing the recipients of the Kushnick, Macy, and Hogue Awards, which honor those who have taken care of our most important resource, our people. First, Ms. Brittany Arvizu transformed the way that we recruit, retain, and manage our cyber accepted service employees those who are the specialized civilian workforce that play a critical role in keeping our nation safe from the threat of cyber attacks. Ms. Arvizu's work has helped make the Army more competitive, and that's critical when it comes to attracting people with cyber skills. And her work has enabled us to be able to tap into the talent across the country to be able to stay at the forefront of cyber defense. Mr. Jerry Dorsey drove strategic planning for the Army Corps of Engineers civilian workforce. And to give you a sense of what a big undertaking that is, the Army Corps of Engineers is one of the largest public engineering agencies in the entire world with over 36,000 Army civilians. So last year, while the rest of the world was facing hiring challenges in a very competitive job market, with Mr. Dorsey's planning, the Corps of Engineers was able to recruit and retain top talent into critical positions across the country. And I've seen some of our um, civilian engineers working for the Corps around the country, and they are truly an impressive bunch. We're also honoring Ms. Kristen Jones Maya with the Hogue Award for her outstanding essay on civilian workforce development. Kristen advocates for building skills and leadership throughout an entire organization, not just focusing on leadership at the top. So she is really focused on ensuring that there is excellence at every level. I'm also proud to present the Secretary of the Army Awards to individuals and teams that have made significant contributions to the Army in a number of distinct areas. First, the Diversity and Leadership Awards recognize the work that is critical to keeping our Army an inclusive organization, an organization that um, reflects one of our nation's founding principles, which is equality for everyone. So I want to start with Chief Warrant Officer 5, Tracy Goodwin, 
the first black woman to attain the rank of CW5 as a counterintelligence warrant officer. She has dedicated herself to mentoring the next generation of intelligence professionals through the director of the National Intelligence's African American Affinity Network. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Next, we have Mr. Michael Glasky, the director of Army Installation Management Command's EEO Directorate. He led a review of our EEO hiring policies and enabled us to update our policies and be able to fill over 70 EEO positions within the command. Finally, we also have Master Sergeant Sean Thomas, the Army Criminal Investigations Division Equal Opportunity Advisor, who led site assistant visits, workshops, and climate assessments for Army CID personnel spread across 15 different countries. Each of these recipients has been dedicated to ensuring that all of the opportunities that the Army provides for success and service are accessible and available to everyone in our Army family. The next award I want to mention is our Small Business Utilization Award, and we'd like to recognize Brigadier General Christine Beeler for her work tapping into the best talent and resources that America has to offer. The Army, I think, as you all know, has been working hard in the last few years to engage with small businesses, especially as we are building up our defense industrial base. We know we can't do it alone, and we rely on our industry partners, uh, many of whom are very, very large, but hundreds of whom are small, to help us defend our nation. So that's been incredibly important work. Next up, we have editing and publication awards that highlight the work that individuals and teams do each year to communicate our doctrine, preserve our history, and give voice to the talented soldiers and NCOs within the United States Army. This year, Ms. Judith Price led efforts to publish our field manual on leader development, as well as overhauling the forms and training aids that our soldiers and leaders use on a daily basis. Mr. Anthony Taylor developed a single portal to access all of our Army acquisition policies. And let me tell you, we've got a lot of acquisition policies. <laughs> so that portal is very helpful. We also have Sergeant First Class Osvaldo Iquite, who tapped into the wisdom and experience of our senior non-commissioned officers by creating the Sergeant Majors Academy Contributing Editors Program. This program allows the senior NCOs who bring a wealth of knowledge to our battalion and brigades to share their expertise across the entire Army. And last but not least in this category, the USASOC History Office Team. And there's a few folks here. Dr. Troy Sakwiti, Dr. Jared Tracy, Mr. Christopher Howard, and Ms. Suzanne Harrison. They have brought the Army Special Operations uh, Forces story to life through numerous publications, including the highly anticipated U.S. Army Special Forces History Handbook. Okay, so our two final recipients have gone above and beyond to exemplify service and Army values. We are presenting the Department of Defense Medal for Distinguished Civilian Service to Mr. Norval Turner today for his incredible work as the safety director supporting Army Central Command, Operation Inherent Resolve, and all of our troops conducting operations in CENTCOM. This award should really come as no surprise. Under Mr. Turner's leadership, our CENT was awarded the Army's three-star headquarters safety award, not just once, but every year from 2016 to 2019. His leadership kept soldiers safe and ensured that our troops serving in CENTCOM could focus on their mission. So thank you very much, Mr. Turner. Last but not least, the final award we will present today will be our award for valor. Now, you know, there's a lot of unique opportunities across an organization as large as the United States Army, uh, and you'd be surprised at the very unique things that people can do. Mr. Robert Chase, who is, wait for this, a senior fish biologist, is a great example of someone who has a job you might not have known existed in the Army. But even more than being unique as a fish biologist, and my dad was an oceanographer, so I wish he could have met you, 
Um, Mr. Chase is someone who exemplifies Army values, and in particular in this case, who exemplifies personal courage. Last November, uh, Robert was out and witnessed a rollover car crash. He went into the underbrush on the side of the road and, working with someone else, pried open the car door to enable him and the other witness to be able to pull the driver out of the car. He then went back to the car and got the driver's dog, who was also in the car. And shortly after that, the car actually burst into flame and exploded. So I want to thank you personally, Robert, for that extreme act of selflessness and bravery. And I also want to thank all of our recipients today for showing in so many different ways what the United States Army is all about. These awards are a formal recognition of what the soldiers, leaders, and civilians that you work with each and every day already know about you, which is that you embody the Army values of loyalty, duty, respect, service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. So it's my pleasure to award these, um, to present these awards to you today and to try to just amplify a little bit more all that you have done uh, so that your service can inspire everyone across the Army uh, and beyond. Thank you to each of you for your efforts on behalf of the Army and for your unique and important accomplishments that we're recognizing here today. So everyone here, please join me in giving a very well-deserved round of applause to our awardees. Okay, I think now we have actual presentations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated during the awards presentations. The first presentation is the 62nd Annual Pace Award, presented annually since 1962 and is named after former Secretary of the Army Frank Pace, Jr. The award is presented to one Army officer, lieutenant colonel or below, and one civilian employee, GS-14 equivalent or below, assigned in a staff capacity to headquarters, Department of the Army, for a contribution of outstanding significance to the Army that culminated during the calendar year. Awardees are selected based on their performance and completion of significant staff assignments that benefit the Army by providing substantial financial savings or technological or military development. The civilian recipient of the PACE Award is Ms. Tabitha C. Mueller, Audit Data Lead, Office of the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army, Financial Operations and Information Management, Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army, Financial Management and Comptroller. Ms. Mueller transformed the use of financial data for the purpose of audit, developing data views previously seen as impossible and enabling progress across all aspects of the financial statement audit. Through her direct involvement, the Army has made significant improvements in remediating material weaknesses aligned to Army's audit priorities. Ms. Mueller demonstrated exceptional technical expertise in the realm of accounting systems, financial policy, and utilization of modern data platforms. The military recipient of the PACE Award is Major Arthur J. Middlebrooks, Acquisition Support Program Analysis Division, Program Evaluation Directorate, Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff, G8. Major Middlebrooks provided outstanding program analysis and consistently superior contributions in leading the transparent and objective assessment of the Army's future attack reconnaissance aircraft analysis of alternatives. He provided critical insights and expert level analysis in synthesizing cross-functional considerations of cost, schedule, and performance for eight discrete programmatic alternatives involving over $462 billion in investment options. His professionalism, innovative analysis, and persistence provided essential support to Army senior leaders and the entire Army aviation community.
The next presentation is the William H. Kushnick Award, first presented in 1969, is named in honor of Mr. William H. Kushnick, one of the first directors of civilian personnel for the Secretary of War. The award recognizes achievement by Army employees engaged in the administration of civilian personnel programs. The recipient of the Kushnick Award is Ms. Brittany Arvizu, United States Army Network Enterprise Technology Command, United States Army Cyber Command. Ms. Arvizu's outstanding organizational and project management capabilities, teamwork, and collaboration skills were instrumental in transitioning the command's civilian workforce to the new Cyber Accepted Service CES personnel system. Ms. Arvizu's dedication and professionalism were key to the successful transmission to CES and significantly enhanced the command's ability to fill key cyber positions throughout the enterprise. The next presentation is the John W. Macy Jr. Award, first presented in 1987 and commemorates the long and distinguished public service career of Mr. John W. Macy Jr. The recipients of this award are leaders and whose leadership styles embrace the Army's philosophy that our leaders are responsible for civilian personnel management. The recipient of the Macy Award is Mr. Jeremy J. Dorsey, Directorate of Human Resources, Civilian Employee Human Resources, Human Capital Data and Integration Division, Government Accountability Office, United States Army Corps of Engineers. Mr. Dorsey's revolutionary leadership resulted in enriched organizational performance on multiple essential human resource metrics that enhanced program delivery. His efforts in the creation of the United States Army Corps of Engineers Human Resource People Analytics Community of Practice function have equipped leaders across the enterprise with essential information to enable informed strategic decision making and set the stage for enterprise and local strategic workforce planning. The next presentation is the James Nick Hogue Award. Mr. James Nick Hogue was a brilliant, motivated human resource professional whose contributions to the Army Civilian Personnel Program inspire his former peers to this very day. In 1980, at age 44, Nick Hogue was killed in a tragic automobile accident. As a way to honor Nick Hogue's memory, the esteemed professional essay competition was renamed on his behalf. The recipient of the Hogue Award is Ms. Kirsten Jones-Maya, Product Manager, Warfighter Expeditionary Medicine and Treatment Project Management Office, United States Army Medical Material Development Activity, United States Army Futures Command. Ms. Jones-Maya's excellent paper presents a cultural shift for government personnel where all positions within an organization are invested in and valued. Her proposal for excellence at every level summarizes the need for training and development for all members of the civilian workforce to deepen and expand skills for their current positions. <laughs> the next presentations are Secretary of the Army Awards for a variety of achievements. The recipient of the Secretary Diversity and Leadership Award is Chief Warrant Officer 5 Tracy A. Goodwin, Chief of Counterintelligence Initiatives and Readiness Branch, Directorate of Counterintelligence, Human Intelligence, Foreign Disclosure, Identity Intelligence and Intelligence Security, Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff, G2. Chief Warrant Officer 5 Goodwin served on the leadership team of the Director of National Intelligence's African American Affinity Network and as a charter member of the Women in Military Service for America. She distinguished herself through her steadfast leadership and her unyielding support to furthering the diversity and equity goals of the Army Intelligence Security Enterprise. Her distinctive achievements and dedication to mentoring the next generation of diverse Army counterintelligence professionals exemplify the best of the Warrant Officer Corps. <laughs> the recipient of the Secretary, Diversity and Leadership Award, Equal Employment Opportunity Professional of the Year it's Mr. Michael E. Gasky, right. Director, Equal Employment Opportunity, Civil Rights Directorate, United States Army Installation Management Command. 
Mr. Gasky's exemplary knowledge, leadership, and exceptional management skills were foundational to his capability to evaluate, assess, identify, and resolve issues at the lowest possible level. His proactive and consistent engagement, expansive customer service, professional advice, and developmental expertise are relied upon by EEO practitioners, commanders, and leaders enterprise-wide. Mr. Gasky leads by example and is credited for ensuring the integration of EEO across the Army enterprise. The recipient of the Secretary Diversity and Leadership Award Equal Opportunity Advisor of the Year is Master Sergeant Sean B. Thomas, Equal Opportunity Advisor, Department of the Army Criminal Investigation Division. Master Sergeant Thomas pioneered several initiatives that maximized human potential within the command, embedded equal opportunity awareness into daily operations, and set new standards for inclusivity and readiness. Supporting over 3,000 personnel across 15 countries, he ensured that principles related to equal opportunity, human relations, and leadership are actively practiced, resulting in a more cohesive and supportive organizational environment. The recipient of the Secretary Small Business Utilization Award is Brigadier General Christine E. Beeler, Commanding General, United States Army Contracting Command, United States Army Materiel Command. Brigadier General Beeler's assiduous commitment to Army values, her vigilant pursuit of excellence, and her remarkable support to the small business program addresses the barriers and challenges that face our small business industry partners. Her leadership and innovative strategies are critical components in establishing a sustainable strategic path for internal and external stakeholders to win future fights collaboratively and jointly as they continue to navigate an unpredictable future. Her efforts set the stage to ensure that small businesses are woven into the fabric of the industrial base supporting Army priorities from requirements definition to sustainment and provide the warfighter with the tools needed to fight and win our nation's wars. The recipient of the Secretary of the Army Award for Editor of the Year Departmental Award is Ms. Judith M. Price, Editor, Doctrine Developer, Center for Army Leadership, Mission Command Center of Excellence, United States Army Combined Arms Center, United States Army Training and Doctrine Command. Ms. Price led the revision, adjudication, and publication of an Army Doctrine publication, two Army forms, and, in, and four Army dra graphic training aids on leader development, supporting various lines of effort in the Army People Strategy. These resources assist in developing more effective leaders and enhancing communication skills to produce capable, resilient soldiers. Ms. Price's accomplishments are echoed in her hard work, willingness to collaborate, and her strong background in leadership, leader development, and Army doctrine. <laughs> the recipients of the Secretary of the Army Award for Editor of the Year Command Award are Dr. Troy J. Sacchetti, Dr. Jared M. Tracy, Mr. Christopher E. Howard, and Ms. Suzanne S. Harrison, all from the History Office, United States Army Special Operations Command. Dr. Sequetti, Dr. Tracy, Mr. Howard, and Ms. Harrison executed a versatile, responsive, and relevant publications program that promoted Army Special Operations Forces history and command priorities. They published seven articles in the command's digital United States Strategic Communications newsletter, as well as the long-awaited United States Army Special Forces History Handbook. The United States Special Operations Command History Office leaned heavily into the field of digital publication, publishing numerous products on Army.mil and the RSOF History website, which reached hundreds of thousands of readers. They also authored dozens of social media posts and video scripts, which reached hundreds of thousands more. This team has been instrumental in inspiring audiences around the world with Army Special Operations Forces proud history. <laughs> Thank you.
The recipient of the Secretary of the Army Award for Publications Improvements Departmental Award is Mr. Anthony M. Taylor, Acquisition Policy Specialist, Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army, Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology. Mr. Taylor designed, developed, and codified new publication business processes, which resulted in significant increases in both efficiency and effectiveness, improving the customer experience when developing and managing Army regulations, DA pamphlets, SEC Army directives, and all other ASA ALT organizational publications requirements. He designed, developed, and implemented the Office of the ASA ALT Acquisition Policy Portal to serve as the single and authoritative policy repository for the Army acquisition enterprise. Mr. Taylor's efforts have enabled the ASA ALT to achieve and maintain an enviable level of up-to-date publications. The recipient of the Secretary of the Army Award for Publications Improvements Command Award is Sergeant First Class Osvaldo Akete, non-commissioned officer in charge of the NCO Journal, Army University Press, Combined Arms Center, United States Army Training and Doctrine Command. Sergeant First Class Akete fostered a mutually beneficial partnership with the Sergeant's Major Academy, the NCO Leadership Center of Excellence, the NCO Journal, and Army University Press leading to the promotion of scholarly activity, professional military writing, professional connections, and original research on subjects relevant to the non-commissioned officer corps, the United States and allied militaries, and the national security community. His fiscal stewardship of government funds and stellar contributions to the NCO Journal and Sergeant's Major Academy helped strengthen the Army profession. The recipient of the Distinguished Civilian Service Medal is Mr. Norville C. Turner, Jr., Safety Director, United States Army Central Command. Mr. Turner is recognized for Distinguished Civilian Service as the United States Army Central Command Safety Director. He demonstrated outstanding professional flexibility and superior performance as he routinely displayed joint operational knowledge and the capacity to synchronize with inter-service staff leadership to coordinate critical joint safety requirements. Mr. Turner's leadership resulted in the command being awarded the Secretary of the Army, Chief of Staff of the Army, three-star headquarters safety award over a period of four consecutive years. Our final presentation is the Award for Valor, awarded to Mr. Robert D. Chase, Senior Fish Biologist, Environmental Analysis Section, Environmental Resource Branch Planning Division, Sacramento District, United States Army Corps of Engineers. On November 9, 2023, Mr. Chase observed a rollover accident in Marin County and voluntarily stopped to render aid. Thick vegetation hindered the ability to access the vehicle. However, Mr. Chase was able to pry open the door while another witness was able to reach the crash victim. Together, they pulled the victim from the vehicle, and Mr. Chase returned to retrieve the victim's dog. Mr. Chase and the other witness moved the crash victim to safety as first responders arrived. Shortly after the first responders arrived, the burning vehicle exploded. Mr. Chase undoubtedly assisted in preventing major injuries or even death of the crash victim by acting quickly and courageously to remove the crash victim from the vehicle before the fire spread and the vehicle exploded. Thank you, Secretary Warmoth. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join in the singing of the Army song led by Staff Sergeant Pride. The words can be found in your program. March along, sing a song with the Army of the Free. Help the brave, help the true, who have fought to victory. We're the Army and proud of our name. Army and proudly proclaim first to fight for the right and to build the nation's might and the army goes rolling along proud of all we have done fighting till the battle's won and the army
army goes rolling along. Then it's hi, hi, hey, the army's on its way. Count off the cadence loud and strong. For wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Would the award recipients please join Secretary Warmoth on stage for a group photo? Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. You are all invited to a reception in the Hall of Heroes reception area in the back of the room. Thank you for attending and enjoy the rest of your day.